All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Roguebook, or welcome to it if you've missed my previous videos that I made on the game. So Roguebook is effectively a fusion between, um, well, Faria, a roguelike, and some ideas by one of the creators of Magic the Gathering, Richard Garfield. And so I played it a while back, and I really liked it. It's, uh, you have two characters that you play with. Uh, two heroes, each with their own kind of unique deck that blends together into one. Uh, and it's more about, like, modifying your cards and some other things. I don't know. It's, there's a lot of deck builder roguelikes. It's hard to exactly identify between them. But suffice to say, this one is probably one of the better ones. Looks like we're going to have to do a tutorial. And honestly, seeing as tutorials bore me to death, I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, I think I'm out of the tutorial, and if I'm not, oh well. Uh, let's see. At least this is where I remember starting the last time. It was actually not much of a tutorial. Yep. Sort of? Yeah, here we are. This is... this is a proper run. You ready, big guy? Finish the story, defeat creatures that have been painted to guard the portals to other worlds. One of these portals may just lead us out of here. Been trapped here for some time, but... Lack the strength to push on. I'll guide you and provide you with supplies. Visit me and I'll help as I can. Okay, can I just turn off... I'm gonna turn off the voice lines just because those, uh, drive me nutty. So what is this? Can I do anything with this? Oh, no, this is where the different characters are. To be selected. Okay. So he's a shopkeeper. We have 100 gold, which is not much. Ally. Remains on the battlefield. Activate. Use this ability once per turn. Allies lose one spirit when activated unless they're spiritless. So it gives me two energy, but I can only use them twice. Ultimately, not really worth it. Pay gold, draft a card. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Lava Surge, Axolotl. Ally aggressive. Whenever this gains spirit... Gain five times as much. Attack for 24. Card costs less for each card played this turn. Attack all enemies for 15. If you played a card that costs two or more last turn, this costs one less. I like the idea of the Lava Surge. Aggressive. Deal damage equal to al this equal to this ally's spirit to the front enemy at the end of your turn. I like the idea of allies. Not actually sure how useful they are, but I like the idea of them. Okay, so she does bonus damage in the front. Could have my sword back. I deal more damage when I'm in the front. When Char is done attacking, I should block to move forward. I'll boost our defenses. Yeah. Okay, so he is blo uh, blocking and using a buff. Now, I forget what charge does. I thought charge specifically gives us a boost. Okay, so we have guard block and strike. So you strike and then tank up. Ooh. He's swinging. So the question is, do I bother with the Lava Surge Axolotl right now? And potentially take more damage. Nah. Nah. We take four. That's not so bad. Lunge. Oh, I see. Lunge charge specifically moves to the front. That's exactly what it does and nothing more. That's fine. Alright, and what do we got in the bag? Ink reveals one space anywhere on the map. Oh, and a pile of gold. Well, let's set up the Vault of Wisdom. Draft a card. Why is it always him? Give a hero three power, dissolve, gain a... Eight block, add three headbangs. Combo stack. Sirocco gains three power for the next attack. If the card played... If the last card played this turn belonged to the other hero, this costs one en energy less. Or impact. I like pump up. Fire oil doesn't seem terrible either. 
the fire oil just because. Okay, revealed a random item on the map. Not the most useful. Okay, so we've got some sky towers there. Can I... Hmm. Let's see. And he doesn't sell any ink. Here's the other one I want to check. Whenever you end turn with no cards in hand, leading hero gains one courage. It's okay. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, ten damage to a random enemy, or whenever you consume an ink, reveal one extra adjacent tile at random. Yeah, those are okay. Uh, let's see, so I want to go this way. The tragedy... Well, that worked out. Okay, bravery. Ranged. Costs one less when played from the back. Gain seven block, two courage. At the start of your turn, gain one energy, lose a stack of courage. Otherwise, horse master. Ally aggressive. Activate, swap your heroes. I like the idea of bravery. Okay, and we're going to use one... I missed. That's fine. Let's go for the ink first. I probably should have gone for the draft in retrospect, but it's okay. Alright, so they're going to be swinging 15 at me. So if I do lunge at the guy... Lunge at the guy in the back. Oh. Cannot be targeted. Okay. So let's hit him. Defend. And then bravery. That should be fine. We'll take a little bit of damage. But we got that heal on the field. Okay, so I'm only seeing six. Defend, defend, strike. Let's just kill the archer if I can. Archer dead. Guard up. Guard up harder. Oh right, because we had courage for the extra for the extra energy. Useful. Not much for defenses here. Oh! Lunch is a two cost? Oh no, trips. First card played costs more. Got it. I guess we're just gonna wail on them. Probably should have done fire oil in retrospect. But it's okay. Ow. Okay, let's hit him. Guard. Bravery. Get that energy up. And yeah, we've got the Axolotl. If I can specifically get some cards that boost that, I'm going to be a happy camper. Okay. Do we do fire oil? Fire oil, strike to kill him, and then we do defend. Perfect. I really dig in the animations on the characters. I don't remember it being this well animated. But it has been a little while, but like... It, this feels like a really high production value, Slay the Spire. Okay, reveals four spaces in opposite directions. Those are good. Let's hit up the Vault of Wisdom over here. Okay. Flatten is pretty fun. Ally Spiritless. Activate, discard a card, then gain one. That's not bad. Kickflip is also really good. Bold Bargainer would give me extra energy, which feels like it's got some heavy uses. I know you can only have, like, two allies, too, which is a bit of an issue. I'm going to go for the kickflip. The extra energy would be nice.
Unfortunately, I'm a little tired. Okay, can't do anything with that. But now... Uh, let's see, we actually want to go here. There we go, another pile of gold. I was hoping we'd find an alchemist somewhere around here. Okay, impact. Or combo, gain one courage. Go high five. Might as well. I just want to stack that courage nice and high. Okay. So they're both asleep. So I guess let's do lunch. Guard. High five. Bravery. Alright, now we've got a courage of three. Why are they asleep? I am confused. I... That's why they're asleep. Okay, so we don't have too much here. Which is a bit unfortunate. Fire oil on her. Defend. Kickflip. Oh, this is... Feels like a tremendous waste, but is what it is. Okay, let's do a guard. High five. Keep that combo high. Yeah, because even that just one extra energy goes a long way. Ow. Defend and kickflip. Heck yeah, kickflip. That's some dangage. All right. So we get some ink. Noble ink, four spaces, straight line. Nothing fancy, nothing terrible. Oh, these are use items. Do that. Oh, story from Feria. Heroes come across this statue of a forgotten protector. It does not move, but its eyes seem to be fixed on whoever approaches. Pray for it to be your sword or shield. Ally aggressive. At the start of your turn, gain block equal to the ally's spirit. Or just attacks. I like this. Okay. So we're going to have to figure out how to... We're going to have to figure out how to generate uh, spirit for my summons. Because if I can do that, we're going to be in a really good spot. Oh boy, never mind, we're in trouble. Ah, okay, not in as much trouble as I thought it was going to be. Okay. It'll hit me for a bit. Oh. At the end of the enemy turn, summon tiki's until there are four remaining. Oh, but there's reinforcements remaining. There's a limited amount that they can do. Do bravery. Wreck that one. Okay, so I'm looking at a solid 6, 12, 17. Let's go with that. I don't want to take any damage if I don't have to. And yeah, we want to take that guy out. What we might want to consider is actually getting some AoEs here. Okay. Let's do Lava Surge. High five. Defend. Kickflip. 18. Can hit anybody. Definitely the front. Admittedly, this does put Sirocco in the position of taking a lot of damage. Well, 
I'll do what I can. Okay, I've got four energy. I think that's enough. We don't take any. Okay. Uh, hmm. I got four. Fire oil. High five. Defend. And kickflip. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Thank you, summons. I didn't take too much on that one. I definitely want to modify those. Some kind of spirit gain would be so lovely. Okay, three tiles in a straight line. Nothing fancy. Nothing terrible. Uh, let's do that. Go here. Not really wasted. Ooh. Gemstone. Gain a gem. This ally spirit gains... This ally gains one spirit. It's very much okay. I mean, that did. That does kind of help it a little. Oh. I'm gonna fire oil her, and then we're just gonna have her defend. Okay, attack for 15. What is this aura? I have no idea. But that's... Oh, that's what that does. Okay, I don't think we'll take any damage from this. Aura of weakness. Gotcha. Okay. To a Lafa's Surge. I-5. Defend. And then we're going to kick flip. Probably front runner there. Yeah, so it's a shield. Makes sense. I don't know. It's a little late. I'm not I'm not fully here. Because we're not taking too much, which is good. I think we can actually just clobber a lot of these guys. There we go. Yeah, what I really want to do is get some kind of consistent gain on that if I can. Uh, do a strike, do a kick flip, do a bravery, and do a guard. You can't touch me. Nice shields. Get him with a lunge. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, my biggest problem is going to be scaling. I don't think I scale very well right now. Five spaces in a straight line. Hmm. That's not so hot. I know there's a pile of gold there. I know there's also a battle somewhere down at the bottom. Like, you can weirdly weirdly go like all the way back and down for reasons I didn't mean to do that.
Well, we're kind of out here. Kind of works for me. Doesn't look like there's anything else, but we can draft a card. Dagger Cage. Combo 2 block plus 2 additional block for every dagger in your hand. Repose. 7 block during the enemy's next turn. Every time an enemy attack is fully blocked, add a dagger to your hand. Dagger. St uh, stacks. Attack for 2. Dissolve. I like Repose. I don't know how useful it is, but I do tend to play kind of defensively when I play this. All right, let's go for him. Let's take a look. Start of your turn, draw two char cards, gain two energy, move her to the front. All right, that's not terrible. It's kind of expensive. Melee gain eight block. Whenever, ooh. When you play this, add a copy to your hand with no gems. Gain seven block. How much do I have enough to buy, like, a thing? And I feel like focus is really good. Let's grab that and let's leave. Gems might be the better option. Okay. I wonder if you can override a gem. I certainly hope so. Oh, I should have healed before I did this. Ah, it's fine. Okay, I'm looking at not too much damage. So let's pop the archer in the face. Guard, bravery. Okay. Ooh. Those are mean. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess let's do focus and the axolotl. Let's just get them out. Okay, that's useful. That hurts. Okay, I've got six energy. Let's start with that. Followed by a high five. Repost. Lunge. Strike. And a defend. Okay, that should give me a pair of... Uh, actually, multiple daggers. Heck yeah. I like the stacks uh, mechanic. That's a really good way of, of getting rid of... I mean, honestly, if you guys are familiar with shivs. Okay, that bleed business is brutal, but that's okay. Rip her to shreds. Because she's, she's doing that stinky bleed move again. Let's do a kickflip for hella damage, and then block. Which tragically can't block the bleed, but that's okay. Queen's Assassin. There she goes. Hopefully we heal after every boss fight. Otherwise, this is going to be a really rough run. Alright, so... Rush. Raw Ruby. Cards attacks deal extra damage, and a stack of pages... They just let you unlock embellishments between runs. That's the meta currency. Okay. Well, I guess I might as well pop both of these. Now I'm just going to do that. Wow, that was a big fat load of nothing. What if there's a way? Oh. 
Face the chapter's boss fight. No. Okay. As you collect more cards, you unlock more talents. Each hero has a unique set of talents. We only pick one talent on each row. So allies cost less. First attack, Soraka makes each turn extra damage, or whenever adds a dagger to your hand, adds twice as many. Knife juggling could be really good. I'm going to go with that. And I don't think I have anything else to do. Okay. Aha! Aha ha ha! Aha ha! Sirocco, is this who I think it is? It's like supposed to be the big bad wolfer. No, it's more of a rat dude. I'm about to ask you the same. Seems like this book has driven him completely mad. Oh no, this is one of the playable characters. I think. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he's doing a buff. So let's do focus and then just punch him a couple of times. Alright, this works. I got five energy. Let me think. Let's get the lava surge out. I'm gonna do guard bravery. This way he doesn't hurt me. And we'll just strike him once. I'd like to do the fire oil for the extra damage, but I think the Lava Surge Axolotl is just better right now. Oh, this isn't. Charge. Kick flip. Repost. I'm going to do a high five for the next round. Nope. No knives for me. Okay, fire oil her. Kick flip him in the face. I guess I should have struck him in the, from the get-go, but I think we're okay. Never mind, he's looking really mad. It's 45 damage right there. Sheesh. Okay, I'm gonna have her defend first and then him. Because he's got more HP than her. This is going to hurt. Okay, now he's using a debuff. Let's do focus again. Lunge. <coughs> Strike. Can't really do repost. And boy, none of this helps me. We were getting him down low, but 41 damage is absolutely nuts. Strike. Kick flip. Strike. Got him. Where am I? And I think we unlocked him. Now let's check the loot. Okay, fully heals both heroes, clears all wounds. Perfect. Pages, another br uh, set of brushes, gold, treasure. Whenever the equipped hero deals 20 damage in a single hit, inflict, inflict 5 bleed. Feria flute or ogre club. No, we gotta go for the Feria Flute. We've got some energy. Whenever a hero is below 50% HP, they gain 3 power. I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, how long have I been here? We don't know, but we're here to help. It seems like we're all stuck in this place. Come, come with us. We could use your strength. Very well, but consider it a temporary alliance. Cypher the Blood Tyrant will be available later. Alright, and we get a... Pile. Okay, after you play this, return to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. That's incredibly good. Alright, lost in the oversky. Aw, oh, the yaks. We've arrived among the floating islands of the oversky. Watch your step. The ancient primal magic keeps these islands above the clouds. They're chained together, so not to flo float away from one another. 
Uh, the creatures here are normally docile, but they've become agitated by the rogue book. Find your way carefully. All right, so first and foremost, we want to we want to craft uh, focus. Yeah. So this way, we always have it. So that's extra energy and madcap cards. Only meter problem is uh, Soraka is going to be kind of playing second fiddle here. In maybe not the best way. Well, let's draft a card. What do we got? Combo, gain 10 block. I like that. Okay, so what's he selling this time? Mortars. Attack a random enemy for three. Repeat for each card you've played this turn. Interesting. That would be really good if I powered him up. Whatever equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, gain four block. End of each battle. Equipped hero heals for life. Third time, you land a hit every turn, gain five block. That's actually pretty good, but I am poor. Oh, let's see, we don't need another focus. A thousand cuts is kind of good. Lacerate is actually pretty good, because as far as I know, bleed does not go down. I like the idea of buckle up plus ogre belt. I don't know, I think we want to save money. We retain ranged. Ooh. A couple of those that are pretty good. Oh, did we get another one? Change the leader of your party whenever you wish. Ah. No, we don't want to do that. But, start of each turn gave five block. This effect ends once you shuffle your deck. Extra max life. Or, starts battle with three courage. Let's go with three courage. The extra max life on Soraka might not be a bad idea, but... I don't know. Okay, let's let's do the basic line. Heck, I might even want to do the elite fight. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. Okay, I got lunge for 12. It looks like they're going to be wailing on me. So I've got four energy. Let's probably do... Defend... Lunge for 12. Kickflip. And defend. This is going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt too much. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of de defenses once again. It's kind of annoying. Defend, repost. And yeah, we'll take one. At least I'll get a dagger. Ow. Okay, that was a lot more than I thought. Oh, because we're on fire. At the end of each turn, the hero in this position takes five damage. Whenever you swap, reduce it. Ah, got it. Okay. Well, might as well lead with the dagger. Oh, I should have done fire oil. I'm a goon. Oh, well, it's okay. We're fine. Well, if I could start with focus. Let's do focus, repost, guard, and then a free high five. I'll just wait. Oh! Blocking the fire damage gain gained me daggers. That's pretty good. Okay. Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal all spaces in a three range around you. Alright. That's kind of good. Uh, shoot. Was that on the last one? It was. There was a gem on the last... Uh, in the last region that gave 8 defense and I probably should have gone for that. That actually would have been really good. Okay, that's a nice pile of coinage right there. Uh... 
There. Minimal waste. Tons of gold. Absolute buckets full. Let's probably do the Vault of Wisdom again. I like Phalanx. Impacts would be good, but let's go Phalanx. I kind of want to just defend. I do enough damage as it is. Ish. Okay, so what do we got? Well, a lot of defensive moves. Start working on the Yaks. Repost, Phalanx, and Guard. So that's hell that's some hella daggers. Let's see if I get a lunge. I do not. But I get focus. And daggers ahoy. Not exactly my favorite. Or yak. Okay, so now what do we have? Probably defend and then the lava surge. Still gonna take a s solid smack here. Okay, do focus. Fire oil. I five. Don't have too much. Let's just kick flip. Bravery. And then defend. Tons of energy for the next round. Don't take too much. Oh, that guy's not working my favor here. Okay, start with focus no matter what. I'm seeing 26 damage. That's blockable. Okay, and I can hit him for a solid 15. And then we do teamwork. There we go. And getting through my defenses today. Only immediate problem is dude has hide. Which is going to be obnoxious. Let's focus. Dagger for 8. Dagger for 8. So I can use three energy, and this should be enough. Okay, then we do Phalanx, and then Bravery. Doesn't hit me at all. He is going to hit me with a debuff, but that's okay. He He's almost dead, so whatever it is, or of Weakness, yeah, that's nothing. I. Here we go. Good stuff. Boy, it's been a while since I played a card game. I like it. Another explosive pigment. I also like it. Though the effectiveness here is a little dodgy. I'll just do that. That reveals an item. It's a nice item. We can get to that. All right. Pay 50 gold, remove, or 50 gold for random treasure. Char and Soraka meet a grizzled old kobold in the back of a tavern. His number of weapons is outnumbered only by as many scars. What do you want done, boss? Let's, um, let's get something. Gabarian Compass. Gabrian Compass. Rune of Sights always reveal a gemstone if there are any unrevealed. Ah, useful. A little, little late, but very useful. Okay, I want to go here. Okay, let's give that to Sirocco. Oh, let's get him buckle up. Fire breath actually would also be really good. If I can get the money.
Okay, so we got four energy. I'm seeing 14 damage being chucked my way. So let's do a focus. A buckle up. Teamwork for free. I five. And then a lunch. Seeks revenge if their partner is killed. Okay. They're kind of cute. There's also a lot of them. So let's focus. Fire oil. Gets me some block. Ritter. And then defend. Move him up. We'll take a smidge. Yeah, getting him that healing might also be a really good idea. Is what it is. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I got to do focus no matter what. Okay, kick flip. I guess I might as well kick flip that one. Repost. And then guard. Okay. They'll just barely hurt me. I need to get the Cobalt Guardian some... Uh, some spirit if I can. Alright. It's fine. Please give me like a lunge. Oh, no, but she goes to the front. I'm not actually sure why. Well, let's do a focus. Okay. So I'm looking at a solid 22. gonna kill him. Let's do a phalanx and then a repose. I actually want to have her in the front. Oh no, we might not actually take damage here. Oh, it's mad. Okay. I, in frankly, when it comes down to it, that actually, that works for me. She gets extra power when she's very wounded. And now I just have to make sure she never takes another hit. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be brutal. But it's fine. Uh, let's see. I don't have a whole lot of money. Eh, let's just do it. Do it live. Okay, whenever this takes damage, lose two power this turn. Ooh. I, I like that. Two. Okay, it's doing nine. So if I do... Repost... And then Phalanx. That gives us a boatload of daggers. Okay. Tragically. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Make him take none. Uh, eh, yeah, make him do none. Do a high five. And then can only be played if we're leading. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Yeah, it's got spooky. Okay, so here's the really unfortunate reality here. I can't lunge. We're just going to have to do that. This is going to hurt. I need some extra draw here. Okay. I guess the front guy is the only one attacking. So we got to do focus no matter what. Might as well do strike. Teamwork. Bravery. Buckle up. Phalanx. Unfortunately, blocked is not. Oh, right. Energy carries over between rounds. I've got to remember that. Uh, 
Alright. No matter what, focus. Kick flip. Strike. Okay, we're good. There we go. Yeah, we really could use some gems here. That'll make my life a lot easier, but no dice. Okay, Noble Ink. I like me some Noble Ink. Uh, let's see. Let's actually do it from up here. Ooh. Alt of Wisdom. Draft me a card. Dragon Spirit. Gain a Courage. Whenever you delete an... A, a, ooh. Defeat an elite or boss battle. Permanently increase the amount of courage gained by one. Or ally. Exotic pet. Whenever the leading hero plays a card, deal damage equal to this ally's spirit to the leading enemy. Both of these are incredibly good. I'm going to go for the exotic pet. I don't actually know if it's a good idea. Okay, we're popping that immediately. I'll just bust that open, maybe. I don't see any other fights anywhere accessible except for the elite fight. One brush. Do we do it? I certainly could. We just we don't have anything otherwise. That's not going to get me anything useful. That's just going to be flying blind. Let's give it a shot. I believe in me. Let's get crazy. <laughs> okay. Start with fire oil. Give it the damage. Major debuff. Okay, what debuff is it? You're in this position, takes 8 damage, ooh, whenever they play a card. Okay. Focus. Repose. So I could do guard and take minimal damage, or we could do exotic pet. Or if confusion is rough. I'm going to do exotic pet. Gets me an amount of block anyway, and it'll be really helpful. Sort of. That aura of confusion is going to be hard to, to work around. But let's do buckle up. Oh, and she got tripped. That sucks. I'll take a bit of damage for this. But it's kind of worth it. Do focus. And then if I do defend. Do I do defend? She'd take five. Doing some trash math here. Oh, whenever the leading hero. Leading hero is not the same as the hero in the front. Okay. I'm going to start with teamwork. We need that de we need that defense, focus, bravery, and then kick flip. There we go. Now we got a bunch of extra energy. Unfortunately, aura of confusion I think immediately gets re replaced. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Well, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Pop a defense. Pop. Okay, so she's down, question mark. Sings five times to revive her. 
unfortunately, I think we're in a bad spot here. This aura of confusion is brutal. There's so very little I can do about it. Okay. Let's see. Can't do anything. Wow, this is just so stinky. Let's do a strike. A defend. A teamwork. A guard, which doesn't do me any good. But that's okay. We might be able to beat this freaky fish guy. Lunch. We got him. We barely got him. But we, we got him. There we go. Wow. <laughs> that was freaking brutal. Okay. Brush. Diamond. Stack of pages. Diamond is huge. And we also have these. I need to get rid of those. Uh, let's see. Let's do repost with this gem. Okay, this card's attack deals extra damage. I mean, honestly... We might as well just do... a boosted strike. It's not very good, but... what else am I gonna do? Okay. I hate doing this. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, boy. I'm just gonna go for this. Now, do we Hail Mary? I mean, the way I see it, I don't really have much of a choice. Let's go back to Nadim, see if he, he has anything amazingly helpful. Papa Bongo would actually be really good. A lot of these would be actually quite nice. Uh, let me see. Buy some more cards. That's a lot of buy cards, but I don't know if I want that. Unlocks at 22 cards and unlocks at 26. Well, we might as well get one more. It gets me a something. Charge attack for a both heroes gain two power at the end until the end of your turn. I like the idea of Shimmer Strike. Okay. Whenever you end a turn with no cards in hand, gains power. First time takes damage every turn, five block, draw a card. Now let's go fly weight. Okay, I could go for the elite fight, but it might wreck me. I'm going to go for the boss. Because if I can somehow beat it... Oh, it's you. Alright. So we're in, we're in a tremendous amount of danger. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're winning this one. Okay, strike for 11. Teamwork, guard, and then just hit it. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to kill this sucker 
like ASAP. Focus. Repost. Defend. Defend. Okay, we're good. This will give me a ton of knives, which is everything we need more. Let's see if we get that charge. We do get Shimmer Strike. We get a lot of things. All right, focus no matter what, then Shimmer Strike. Uh, let's see. Exotic Pet. Because the Exotic Pet triggers every time I use a card. Okay, it dead. Pure boss. Uh, let's do kickflip. Do I do bravery for some courage? Or do we do lunge for some damage? Lunge for damage. We've already got the energy. Okay, it's attacking, attacking summoning more. Okay. Focus no matter what. If I do... Buckle up. Fire oil is now free. Stop. Bravery. Gets me the energy. And then we kickflip for a ton of damage. Okay. I might yet pull this off. But it ain't going to be pretty. Okay, let's do a focus. Teamwork. I-5. Keep that courage up. Repost. Guard. And let's wait. Because I'd like that extra energy, but I don't know what we're up against on the next. Okay. So it's boosting this sucker, which is bad good. Let's see, I don't see a shimmer strike, so let's focus. This is going to be painful. No, it's not. We're good. There we go. One of them hits it. Alright, we might actually kill this sucker. Those wounds are atrocious. Okay. Focus. Lunge. Okay, I think I can use everything. There we go. And if I get really lucky, we can just wail on him on the next round. Summon a turtle. Turtles are spooky. Bring a major buff. That's okay. I'm only getting hit for 15. Not enough for some damage. Bit tragic. I'm not sure why I did that, but that's okay. Nothing's going to hurt me. Let's just save the energy. Now, unfortunately, I think he's going to go in. Yep, he does. This shit sucks. Focus. Strike. Strike. 
kickflip. Strike. There he goes. Okay. So far, so good. We wait. We actually managed to beat this guy. Through the sheer, honestly, exotic pet. I think is probably the primo victory machine here. Pulled it off. Oh, I was not expecting that. Alright. Ah, oh, that gets rid of the wounds. Thank you. Whenever an enemy is destroyed, gain an energy, draw a card. Start of each battle, equipped hero gets protection. Or. Start of each battle, add four Kalim's prayer. I'm gonna do protection, and I'm gonna give it to her. Okay, whenever you draw this, reduce its cost by one. That's super helpful. Tackle enemies for 15. If you played a card that cost two last turn, this costs one less. Sucker punch, some other things. Cool. I mean, my poor deck is just getting really, really full. The Ancient Lands of Taverin. Ah, we've discovered the heart forge, the core of the Mecha civilization, built deep inside the massive volcano. Inside of a massive volcano. They're not likely to be pleased at our arrival. The spirit of the rogue book has taken residence here. The form it takes shifts with every story it creates. Now is your chance to strike at it directly. Well, what do you have to sell to me? Please tell me it's amazing things. Wow, why are these so expensive? I mean, I guess I understand, but like, cripes. Why do you play this at a zero cost copy of the card to your hand with no gems? Drop of Echoes is obscene. Whenever a card grants you energy, gain energy. I mean, these are pretty good. A lot of these are great. Retain combo. Attack twice for damage equal to the size of your draw pile. Coup de Gras. Ooh. Fire Breath. Pretty good. Teamwork. Decent. Cyclone Lariat. Melee. Attack for eight. Whenever you gain block this turn, deal eight damage to the leading enemy. Yeah, it sounds pretty dang good. One way or another, too poor to afford. So, we're not even going to think about it. Okay, what's this? Was summoned, taunt, so I have to have to hit that. Well, start with fire oil. High five. Nothing's hitting me. So I guess I'm just gonna wait. Vulnerable and aura of weakness. Oh, well you you suck. He sucks, but I guess I actually managed to pull it off. Okay, I'm seeing 20 damage. Bravery. Defend. Lunge. Strike. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Eh. Oh, well. Oh, but she's got protection. Came out kind of weird, but that's okay. Okay, so let's do... Kickflip. Focus. Teamwork. Exotic pet. And defend. I Frankly, that exotic pet, it was... An Im incredible purchase. I don't think I would have beaten the last boss without it. Okay. Go for the Shimmer Strike. Go for the regular Strike. Focus no matter what. Buckle up. Defend. And repost. I think we take no damage. No, we do. We take two. Damn. 
It's okay. And it doesn't look like he got any extra armor. Nice. Okay, what do we get? Pretty boring stuff, honestly. What do we get next? 26 cards. I'm at 22. Oh, were the cards that we saw earlier... Oh, those were just unlocks. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Eh, let's just keep doing it. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm doing five. Uh, I'm donked as hell. Because, yeah, I can't hit the dude in the back. Oh, this is going to be fun. Because, yeah, back boy there gains power with every hit. That doesn't feel good. Okay, so I got four. I think I'll be fine. Kickflip. Guard. High five. Bravery. Nope, this is gonna hurt. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Focus no matter what. We got buckle up. Uh, let's do repost. Buckle up. And defend. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any of my good things here. Well, there's some of it. Alright. We gotta start with exotic pet. It's too good not to. Let's go with that. Focus. And then teamwork. He's just going to have to eat some hits. But at least we do some damage. Yeah, that guy is... Uh, we just... We don't scale very fast and we have, like, no AoE. Okay. Focus no matter what. Lunge. Kickflip. Buckle up. Defend. And Phalanx. Okay. I don't think we'll take too much more harm beyond this, but yeah, having a tank in front of this sucker is just not good feelings. Okay, I've got a decent amount. Let's do teamwork while we're here. The yeah, nice part is just doing everything does four damage. Except for that. There we go. We're getting there. I swear, there's certain mechanics that have just straight up uh, are not available. I know there's some way to, like, alchemize cards into gems, last I checked. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do this? It'll get me to a battle. And some amount of money. Now, first and foremost, we have almost 400. What were we buying again? When you play this, add a zero-cost copy to your hand. Oh. Um. It's like, I almost feel like Buckle Up would be incredibly good. The other one would be kind of saving up and getting Cyclone Lariat. Attack for 8. Whenever you gain block this turn, deal 8 damage to the leading enemy. That's really good. But I think I'm going to go for Buckle Up. Uh, let's see, because what else do we have? Gem of Gravity. Uh, let's see, whenever you draw a card, gain one block. 
Hethra's scale is pretty good. I think that might actually be better than Drop of Echoes. Well. There we go. Let's see if I can gain enough money. Not quite. We're getting there. We also have Precision Ink. If I use two of these, get closer, pop this. Oh. Chase it off to continue exploring. Please don't. Okay, I have to fight it. Pinata, earn gold equal. De oh. So I just have to mess it up. Unfortunately. That's a problem. I don't actually do a whole lot of damage here. Wow, this is frankly embarrassing. It intends to run away. Let's start with exotic... Okay, let's do buckle up. Okay. <laughs> I finally managed to hit it. That was pitiful. I made a little bit of money. But we made the money that we kind of needed. Kind of. Okay, get a stack of pages, get a radiant heart. Get a couple of radiant hearts. And we get a gem. After you play this, return to the top of, top of your deck. Ooh, that's really good. I forgot about that. The problem is it doesn't really fit any of these. Let's draft a card. Maybe find something amazing. Fire Breath is okay. I mean, Gem of Gravity on Fire Breath isn't terrible. Cyclone Lariat. Actually, Cyclone Lariat plus Gem of Gravity. So 16... Attack for 16 plus 16 damage whenever I... Gain block this turn. And then I can make it free... Otherwise, Cyclone Lariat with Drop of Echoes. Whenever you play this, add a zero-cost copy of, to your hand. And then I go back to being Turtle. Because I'm thinking... Because this just gets me it back every round. I mean, these two both into Cyclone Lariat would be silly. It would effectively make it so that it would cost zero, and every turn I'd be able to just hella punch something. I'd be hella punching them for... only an amount. Because the double 
the double damage on it would be really good. Otherwise, we go Tethra scale. How many cards do I draw on a, t on a turn? It's like eight. It's eight block. Or attack twice for damage equal to the size of your draw pile. Zero. Or attack twice for damage equal to double your draw pile. I mean... <sighs> I'm stuck on this one, because the Gem of Gravity would make it do a ton of damage, but I wouldn't quite have the energy to keep up with it. Whereas conversely, I could make it free and played every round. I like that. Let's go Cyclone Lariat and save up for probably Tethra's Scale, just for some extra oomph. Okay, and then we're going to want to put the power on him. More than anything else. But that's okay. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I don't think we really revealed much of the map here. I have another precision ink. I'm just going to foolishly go on an adventure. Okay, fire oil self. Kick flip. And then a repost. Okay, so that's that's what that does. That makes sense. All right, we're just gonna dagger him a bunch. Okay, teamwork, bravery. Oh, and I missed the opportunity for a high five there. Okay, so what is this? This looks hurdy. Start with exotic pet. Focus. Boy, this is... Yeah, this is going to suck. Alright. Like I said, it is going to suck. Do Cyclone Lariat, followed by Buckle Up. Followed by Fire Breath. Followed by a Defend. A Focus. And then another Defend. Okay. Gonna hit her for seven. But that gives her the power boost. And then we kill him. I think that works. I could be wrong. Okay, so we get... What is this? Oh, just that. I'm not terrible. Let's just go here. Use this. Go down. We might as well reveal the area. We get a Radiant Heart. And a Rune of Sight. Reveals us. Gold, so there's no more gems. But we do have a lot of money. No, we don't have enough. Not yet. Do I pop the Radiant Heart? Nah, not for this one. I'm going to hope for the best. Alright, so this one's going to hurt. It's going to hurt her. So in that case... 
let's just use her protection here. There goes protection. Oh, boy. I... It's fine. You buckle up. Lunge. Oh, they lost it. Uh, let's see. Do a strike, and then a high five. Because they're not doing anything fancy anyway. Fancy yet. Uh, let's see. Start with the exotic pet. Phalanx. Bravery. Okay, and then we wait. I need that energy for other things. Oh, that's 40 damage. And of course, I can't do anything about it. Oh, they've just been tanking the damage right there. Well, that's fun. I need that fire breath. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Cyclone Lariat. Oh, that doesn't count. Okay. Oh, this is gonna freaking hurt. Okay, that doesn't count, but this does. Okay. Ah, oh, shame about those wounds. Yeah, we needed other things to pop up much sooner. You know, I said I'm gonna risk it. Well, I wouldn't have saved her anyway. I'm just gonna use the noble ink, go straight down. What do we got down here? I have no idea. Some cash. Actually, an appreciable amount of cash. Oh, let's see. Anything else? Not overwhelmingly. I'm gonna go here. Just reveal this area. These narrative encounters have always been good for me. Never mind. Didn't work. Oh, that's nice. Ah, here we go. As the heroes enter a blossoming forest glade, they find Majinata. The spirit of Everlife itself. Here is a place of neutrality and power. Majinata will deliver boons to all who visit without fear or favor. Boon. Boon. Boon for Sirocco. Max life. Blessing. Gain two power. Heal for five at the end of each battle. If the hero dies, blessing fades. Let's go for the power. Okay. Let's go to Nadim. So I got 500. Whenever a card grants you energy, gain energy. Gem of Gravity. I think I'm going to go for Tethra's Scale. I don't know if that's actually a good... good buy. And here's the other question. Do we just bypass? Yeah. There's no more power gain that I'm going to be able to get, and there's a lot of potential for loss there. Hello, you are freaking spooky. Doomed coin. Retain. Gain three energy. Cannot draw cards this turn. At the end of turn, add two do doomed coins to your hand. Interesting. And terrifying. Also, why is everything extra expensive? Here's cards cost one extra play to play. Oh. I don't like you. Twenty-four damage right there. Maybe it's... I'm gonna play it. We gotta get the Lava Surge out. Hopefully that means cannot draw coins... Or draw cards like in the middle of that. Okay. That's good.
bravery. For posts. Do I do a doomed coin just to hit him? I think I'm going to say no. Okay, and she's been tripped, which is stinky. I'm just going to have him fire oil himself. First card they play costs more. Doomed coin. Dagger. Dagger. End turn. Yeah, because my, my hand is going to get too full eventually. There it is. Okay. And I do Cyclone Lariat, but that's not going to help too much. But I'm going to play it anyway. Because I want to reduce its cost. Can't do anything else. Oof. But that's okay. I'm going to do... Cyclone Lariat. Followed by a Defend. And I don't really want to do the Doomed Coin to get me the Focus. He's not even hitting me anyway. Okay. Here we go. Cyclone Lariat. Because the price goes down. Buckle up. makes one of the strikes free. Now, I'm not going to be able to do anything fancy beyond this, but at least I've done some damage to him. But that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay. Tragically, don't think I have too much else I can do. I don't... I don't really like things like Duke of Excess. I understand it, but I don't like it. Let's see. I'm going to do a Doomed Coin and Focus. There's nothing I can do for her. But if we're lucky, that means I can get her up sooner than later. Unfortunately, my inventory is so full of random shit. Ow. Damn it. Let's see. Do we do a doomed coin just to hit him with the guard? Yeah, I'm going to. Really wish I could play those wounds to get rid of them. Okay, three revives, can't do anything else. I'm gonna take some damage here. It's coming down to the wire, but the Lariat is king. There we go. Got him. Cyclone Larry, you absolute wild card. I did not expect I'd win. Alright, so this unlocks new cards for them? Looks like. Alright, and with that, that's a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. So, Rogue Book will be out on Thursday the 19th, unless I'm wildly mistaken on this one, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. No, yes, 
Sorry, Thursday the 17th. I'm wildly mistaken about what day it is. Anyway, uh, different mic, outro, whatever, we'll move on. So, apparently meta progression isn't unlocked yet. I think they expected me to lose on my first episode, but boy, I managed to pull it off. I'm actually really impressed with myself that I managed to do so. That, uh, that crazy lariat card was incredibly strong. Anyway, uh, so it looks like we got a new character to play as. Uh, I know there's at least... I think there's six characters total. I think there might only be four available. Oh no, they said six combinations. Uh, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But at the very least, we've got Cypher the Blood Tyrant, who looks like he's supposed to take more damage, so maybe he's got some healing, or just like a lot of HP. I will see how he works. I'm probably going to get my, my butt kicked with him. Interestingly enough, I can't seem to be able to switch out the main character. Uh, uh, Shara, I think was her name. Anyway, they all have S names. Weird. That's got to be intentional, and I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so like I was saying, uh, Rogue Book will be out on the 17th on Thursday, and it's pretty good. It very much plays like a, a higher end... I don't want to say a higher end Slay the Spire, because I feel like that besmirches Slay the Spire. I think this is a perfectly fantastic deck builder roguelike, as uh, is Slay the Spire. I'm mostly just thinking in terms of, like, more budget was put into the, the art, and uh, I, I actually really appreciate it. This game is beautiful. But Faria was always pretty, so I this is exactly what I expect. It, here's me trying to figure out how to get to the meta progression. I don't know. Anyway, so if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because, yeah, I'm going to be doing a number of runs of Rogue Book. This game's fun. Uh, but for now, at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.